first fight of the evening, 21-year-old Brandon Benitez of Cartaro, Mexico, had a 145 amateur career before turning pro at the tender age of 16. He brings a record of 14 and one with six knockouts with him tonight. He's fought 12 times in his native Mexico and three other times in Venezuela, but this will be his first fight here in the United States. Benitez has been the eight round distance one time, but this is going to be his first scheduled 10 rounder. He has an aggressive style, but he says he'll adapt depending on his opponent. He adds it tonight, I'm going for the KO. He comes off a first round knockout in February, but it should be noted his opponent entered that fight with a record of one and 36. Steve, let's go behind the numbers with Brandon Benitez. Will do, Barry. We start with the good news. Benitez's only loss came against a fighter who was 10 and 0 at the time and is now 20 and 0. No disgrace there. The bad news: what to make of Benitez's three most recent fights? His last opponent had lost 16 in a row, all by KO. Before that, the victim was making his pro debut, and before that, the opponent was 0 14 and 2. And passport stamp. Benitez has never fought in the states before, but he has recently won on the road in Venezuela. Maybe that experience will help him tonight. Saul Sanchez, who said to us, call me Sal. That's what everybody calls me. That's what I want to go by. That's what we'll call it tonight. He turned an excellent amateur career into a stepping stone to a successful pro tenure and is now 11-0 with six knockouts. That on the heels of an amateur career that included winning a national PAL championship as a junior. Tonight, he'll step up to the 10-round distance for the very first time. He's had two scheduled eight-rounders. He's been that distance one time. He's a Southern California product. He has grown up in Pacoima, just a little north of where we are right now. He is trained by the renowned Yoel Diaz. Sanchez refers to his style as a brawler or something, but he says, if I need to box, I can box. He comes off a majority decision win against the durable, far more experienced Luis Saavedra. That was back in October in a fight during which he injured his right hand. Steve, let's go behind the numbers with Sal Sanchez. Barry, we start with the name game. Let's remember this is Sal Sanchez, not Salvador Sanchez, and it's Brandon Benitez, not Wilfred Benitez. This fight is coming very early in the game. Both fighters only 21 years old. The Omega Man, all 11 of Sanchez's fights have been in California, and three have been right here in Corona. That's a definite advantage over a visitor like Benitez. And stepping up, too, Sanchez's opposition has been carefully selected. His three most recent foes had all lost their previous fight. All right, then, for the first time tonight, Saul, call me Sal, Sanchez versus Brandon Benitez. They are Bantamweights, scheduled for 10 rounds. With that, we go to the center of the ring. The introduction of the fighters in our first fight. Here is our ring announcer for tonight's festivities, Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Showbox, the new generation from the Omega Products Events Center in Corona, California. We get things started with 10 rounds scheduled in the bantamweight division, and it will be for the vacant WBO Latino Championship. Brought to you by Arthur Palulo's Banner Promotions and Thompson Boxing in association with Showtime. Along with their great sponsor, Makita Power Tools. Remember to rule the outdoors with Makita's outdoor power equipment. It is sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission and the World Boxing Organization. Our three judges scoring on a 10-point must system will be Rudy Badagan, Max DeLuca, and Dr. Lou Moret. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Raul Gaiz Jr. Introducing to you first, fighting tonight out of the blue corner, he's wearing red with white and weighed in at 117 pounds. Coming to us from Querétaro, Mexico, he brings a professional record consisting of 14 wins, just one defeat with six of his 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brandon El Leoncito Benitez. 
His opponent across the ring fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing light blue with silver and weighed in at 118 pounds. Hailing from North Hollywood, California, he is undefeated with 11 wins. Six of his 11 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Saul the Beast Sanchez. Fighter Chief second only, please. Mouthpiece. Protector. All right, gentlemen, you received the instructions in the dressing room. You know what I expect? Good clean fight. Legal punches here for you. Legal punches here for you. Touch gloves, And we take a look at the numbers. The most interesting numbers, the respective ages. Both fighters only 21, and they're being asked to go 10 rounds. That's a big step for both Sanchez and Benitez. For our first fight, the rules, no standing eight, no three knockdown rule. Ref or doctor can stop the fight. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and the fight becomes official after round four. Listo. Listo. So here we go, round one of this 10-round fight. Sal Sanchez in the baby blue trunks, and Benitez in the red and white. Sanchez wants to work the body, feels he can break his man down by working the body, and he is a very good body puncher. We take a look at the amateur experience. Sanchez, well, he couldn't go to national tournaments because his family couldn't afford to send him. As far as Benitez, all of his amateur fights in Mexico. Pro experience, you see similar numbers, although Benitez has been a pro a little bit longer and has been a little bit less active. Benitez a moment ago slipped in a little overhand right. Attention getter. Sanchez was talking about a good body puncher. Starting early. That was a very good shot. It's smart of a young fighter like that to invest so early in body shot physically. It is a 10 round fight. It's going to play off in the second half of the fight, Barry. Left hand of the body, right hand of the head, and another straight right hand from Sanchez. A nice combination there, drives Benitez back to the ropes. Benitez also trying to work the body early, but not with as much success as Sanchez. Well, Sanchez has to be aggressive because his nickname is the Beast, Barry. I mean, if you're going to have that nickname, you can't you know, lay back. I don't know. I think he might want, I don't see him as the Beast. Well, yesterday at our fighter meetings, we could we could barely hear him speaking. He was so quiet. Quiet Beast. Soft spoken. <laughs> Perhaps a little bit nervous, you know, finding your, uh, your show box, showtime lights. That happens all the time. Nice counter left hand slipped in by Sanchez there. But so far, I don't think nothing is affecting uh, Sanchez in this first round. No. Stop! Break. No punch. Cuidado con las cabezas de los dos. Watch your head. Really good combination, yeah. Throwing really good combination. He's staying in the pocket. He covers up good. Nice frame defense. So relaxed. It's only the first round. Now, we've had so many young fighters fight on national television for the first time on Showbox. And very often they are tentative in the beginning. Every now and then they're tentative the entire fight. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Shaki Foster comes to mind. That was the exact guy I was thinking of. Pretty good body shot from Benitez. And that time, Sanchez ducked right into a right hand from Benitez. A little swelling under the left arm. Yes, segundo, para la campana, 10 seconds. Listen for that bell. Move your head, side to side, keep your body. Simple. You're good. I know you're good. Give me the insult. Okay, I know you're good, so But don't smother yourself. When you throw your combinations, don't don't try to throw too many punches. Just throw the right punches. Understand? Okay, come on. Give him water. Somebody give him water. What the law? Okay, so? Here's what Sal Sanchez told us he needs to do. In the, in the early rounds, I'm gonna, you know, work off my jab and going, switch it up on him, jab to the body and go up and down. 
and then I, he's gonna get confused and then he's gonna get frustrated, I think, and he's gonna open up and I'll, I'll catch him coming in. I thought he did enough in that first round to win the round. But, but Benitez has had his moments. You know, the uh, numbers tell us they both threw 49 punches, so it's a, a pace that could increase. Turned the jab into a hook. Oh. Good left hand again. Benitez right in the pocket now. Benitez got there with a the left hand. He took a left hand from Sanchez. Bring it up, Solomon. Benitez Bring it looked up. like he was hurt there from one of those left hooks, but he did. bounced right back. Yeah, he did. He's got long arms, Benitez. He's throwing a lot of arm punches. But they're dangerous if he throws them from the right distance. Yeah, he's a little bit too wild. He opens up too much Benitez, so Sanchez beats him to the punch all the time. If you see Sanchez, uh, his guard is a little bit more tight. Good example right there. Yeah. Well, Benitez is game. He's willing to engage. Swelling alongside the right eye of Benitez now. He's got some good, it looks like he's got some good leverage with the shots of Benitez, but Sanchez not moving at all. He's standing right in front of him, staying in the pocket, and it has a lot to do with, you know, keeping his gloves up. A lot of them shots hit the gloves, so not all of them are in his head or his body. You see Sanchez with the high guard. A couple of times Benitez tried to right uppercut. That's no usually a very Solo, good no punch against the guy who's wearing the earmuffs. He got there with one of them, as a matter of fact, but it was a little bit of a pity pat uppercut. Yeah, he just has to make sure he throws it from close. Oh. You know, all in all, though, not a bad round for Benitez. Well, he seems more intent now on keeping a little distance. I think he's a little busier. Careful not to hit behind the head, Saul. I tell you what, this is early in the fight, and especially Benitez, they're throwing some big bombs. So I'm curious to see what happens in the second half of the fight. I mean, this is a 10 round fight, so not sure if they could go at this pace, Gary. Gotta be interesting. 10 rounds, yes. It's a great point, Raul, because neither one has ever been past eight, and they've only each been eight once. Still a swelling out of the left eye of Sanchez, and alongside the right eye of Benitez. Stop! Oh, good right hand from Benitez. Nice counter right there. Took a step back, then hit him with a right hand. I'll tell you, I thought that was a pretty good round for Benitez. For Benitez. Hey, Brandon, pasa el vocal, tranquilo. Tranquilo, güey. Va todo muy bien, no tienes que ponerme atención algo. Cuando vas a la frase, estás estresándote un poquito. Tienes que respirarme un poquito mejor, ¿ok? Mantente con pausa la tarde, moviéndote sereno. Sí, vamos a hacer una Take your time, take your time and keep moving like a compass. Don't exchange punches with him. Two or three punches, then move to the side. Give him more feints. Sal Sanchez told us yesterday he was going to box more. You know what? He kind of lied. When there have been exchanges, he's been very happy to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You see both of them throwing very big shots. Later in the round, watch Benitez. There's that right uppercut I like. He threw it from... Fairly close, close enough where he wouldn't get countered. And a nice jab, a punch we have not seen a lot of from either guy. A nice jab there by Sal Sanchez. Bit of an entertaining fight. A little blood from the nose now of Sanchez also as he starts this third round. And a welt under the right eye now of Benitez. That could be a real problem. Good right hand from Sanchez. That backs Benitez up. That's what Rinkin needs to do. You hold him in the inside, let the referee break you apart, then get back on the outside and give him some movement. You don't need to exchange too much with uh, Sanchez. That's what they were telling him in his corner. Good right hand for Benitez. And I think that got Sanchez's attention. 
Benitez. Blood now from the nose. Benitez getting off first every time. Ooh, just missed that right hand. Took the counter left from Sanchez. The, uh, the first two rounds in terms of connect were close. But this first minute of this round is the widest margin for either fighter so far. Benitez clearly uh, in charge. And I think what's made the, the difference, Steve, is uh, his footwork, his movement. He's not staying too much in front of him. He does his work, three or four punches, gets back out, holds him in the inside. And that's why he's winning the round. But then again, how long can he keep up? You know, can his legs hold up? Can he keep moving like that? We'll see. Yeah, he's definitely drawing Sanchez in. Don't push, Saul. It gives him a lot of different movements, too. Sometimes he'll kind of take a little jab step forward. Other times he'll stay on the outside. Sanchez keeps wiping that blood from his nose. I'll be on the head, so I'll remember. So all those punches, so in terms of power shots, we talked about the connects being close. Well, you see Benitez a little Stop. busier. No but uh, these, are, these have been close rounds, and the third round certainly looks like it's going to Benitez so far. So far. There he is again. I mean, look at both of his fighters' faces. I mean, this is only the third round. I know it. They're going to be a mess if it goes 10 rounds. They're pretty much of a mess right My type now. of fight. My type yeah, of exactly. fight. Exactly. Bring it up, Saul. Bring it up. Nice combination from Sanchez, but is it enough? Nice combination there from Sanchez. They keep telling Benitez in the corner, don't stay there, don't stay there, move. And we saw what happened when he stayed there, he got hit. Sanchez boxing. Ten seconds. Stop at the Perhaps bell. Perhaps a result of that like nose bleeding. We get a close round of Benitez won the early part of it. And Sanchez won the last part of it. You got it. I got it. You got it. You're good. You're good. Yeah. So you just need to break them down a little bit to the body. Why? Yeah, because you're not throwing enough body shots. Okay. Yeah. Breathe out your mouth. Okay? Breathe. Okay? You're good. You're good. So you need to work the body. Watch his right. As soon as you step in, he wants to loop yeah. that right hand. Hello, hello. Okay? Come on. You're smarter than that. No, no, no. Huh? Underutilized weapon here, Sanchez's jab. He's been very effective with it when he's thrown it. And you see jabs from Benitez also. You heard your old Diaz talking from once more body punching. So a little bit of it there, but for the most part, Sal Sanchez has been headhunting. He has been. He was reminded in this corner to try to go to the body more. It's only round four. We're going ten. In that body punching barrier, it's, it's more important to the ten round fight than in an eight round fight or a six round fight. Obviously, you can weaken your opponent and take advantage in the late rounds. And that's something young fighters don't always do, don't always know to do. Benitez's his legs kind of betrayed him there for just a second. Clearly, the blood from the nose of Sanchez is bothering him. He keeps wiping it. Don't pull his head down. Don't pull his head down. I'm too sure about Benitez's conditioning. I completely agree with you. drastically a lot of this round. Look at that. That right hand backed him up. Standing too much in front of him, Bob Barry. Yeah, it's square. Yeah, squaring up. He, he looks he looks confused now. He looks lost. He looks tired. And it happened so fast, guys. I mean, in one round ago, he was in Let command. Him go, yeah. Let him go. Look at mano, yeah, his legs don't look good. Right. Here we go. Box. All Sanchez needs to keep doing is, you know, he needs to jab. He's going to jab, two, three jabs, get inside, and just keep touching. Keep touching him. 
Don't look for power shots. Just keep touching the guy. Don't look for one shot. You talked about Sanchez breathing through his mouth. Benitez clearly breathing through his mouth now. And was at the end of the last round as well. Bring it up, Saul. Bring it up. You got a fighter in Sanchez that's thinking. You could tell he's still in the fight. He's thinking. You could just tell by what he's doing. And then Benitez is just throwing the throw to survive, to hold on, to make something happen. But he's confusing it. Well, you said it early on. I think conditioning is going to play a big yes. part in this fight. Well, I mean, in the second round, uh, Leoncito, the lion, the little lion, maybe he needs to be the big one. That's the oh, oh, nice right hand and the left hand behind it, just as we give him up. Like I was saying, Barry, the second round, he was throwing big power shots, you know, so he wasted a lot of energy there, so it's showing now. And it could be the effect of Sanchez's body shots. He keeps touching the body, he keeps digging hard to the body. Sanchez is starting to work seconds. down here. Nice right hand, that's Stavity. And now Sanchez trying to close the deal. Benitez on the ropes, can't extricate himself. Took it in the left hand. Two shots in the body at the bell. Don't exchange punches, you're winning. He wants to knock you out. Do not exchange. Okay, you're good. Okay? You gotta be smart though. Hey, don't throw punches crazy. Okay, I need you to be smart in there. You got this? Keep working the body. It's turning into a damn good little fight. Yeah, it's real good strong. action. And the fourth round was really know, exciting. Both guys landing big shots. There you see a left hook from Chances. It definitely buckled the legs of Benitez. And it looks to me, as you see the action further with, with Sanchez raging, it just looks like time is in, on Sanchez's side. Yeah, very much so. It got a little wild, I thought, at the end of that round, but just trying to finish the show. One of the things I noticed about Sal Sanchez on tape, watching him before this fight, when he, he's a pocket fighter, he wants to be close to his opponent, but when he is, he's not jabbing much, so he's not doing anything, and that's not good. He's not move, lateral movement or jab. Short right hand there after a body shot by Sanchez. He goes up against the ropes again. Stop! Want to be there. No wrestling, here we go. Box! Mark, we have a small cut, bridge of the nose caused by a punch, blue corner. Good Raul Caiz, Jr. My sense is Benitez's legs are betraying a little bit here, Steve. Well, Raul mentioned it early in the fight. He said, does he have the legs to maintain this kind of fight? He needs his legs to win. He did his best work when he kept a little bit of distance. But it sucked. Sal Sanchez in, he countered. Don't see much of that anymore. Nah, he looks, his legs look very weak. I just think Sanchez needs to follow up with more jabs to get inside. He's throwing one jab to get in. This is two, three double jabs, triple jabs. Once he's in, then he's, he's got to touch this guy. Simple. Doesn't have to load up. See, he's, he's looking for one big shot. There. You see, there he goes. I'm talking about Sanchez. Push the uppercut. He's got to put them together right there. Put them together. Threes and fours, fours and fives. I'm telling you, Benitez is ready to go. He just got to know how to do it. Yeah. Sanchez knows how to, he's got to know how to do it. And that comes with experience. Right there. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. And Benitez's gloves are much lower now. He's holding the, his hands much lower. Yes, he is. Stop. 
Stop. No, 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 no. Don't do that, Solo. Don't do that. Benitez told us yesterday, Fox. I want to establish distance. He, he's done that in spots. And it worked. But if, if you don't have the legs, what, yeah, it, you're right. you can't do that. He won, the, he won rounds when he yeah. established that distance. And in the inside, he would just hold them and let the referee break them apart. Then he'll get back on the outside. But now, he's not doing it. Meantime, Sanchez has been a little wild. He's missing a lot, Barry. Yeah. Good miss there. And again, puts Benitez on his bike. Ten seconds. Good short right hand. So for the bell. Cut. This is a scheduled 10. We are at halftime. Five rounds complete. Take a look at the numbers. The jab is very close. And the power shot, Sanchez has built an edge, not by throwing that much more, but by landing a little bit of a higher percentage. Body shots also, Sanchez, with the, the uh, lead. And I, and I think he seems to be up on our cards at this point. I have 49, 46. <laughs> Sanchez had a good first round, round two. I thought he also took, I think you guys gave it the other way. And you see how much more animated and how quicker Benitez looks in these early rounds. Now, as the fight progresses, you're going to see Benitez slowing down and just seeming, seemingly much less certain on his legs. Still throwing a lot of punches, but he's just not setting down on him like he was. And his hands are dropping. This is round six. Sanchez's corner, incidentally, did a very good job on that swelling under his left eye, which was there in the first round. It's no worse now than it was then. Yeah, Yoel Diaz, one of the best trainers in boxing, also working as cut man. <laughs> lowest number of punches thrown, lowest number of punches connected for Benitez in the previous round, round five. I think Raul's point is well taken. I, I think he's probably primed to go with a couple of good shots. I really think there's a good round since Benitez ain't doing much. It's a good round uh, for Sanchez just to get close, get as close as he can, and really sit down on some hard shots to the body, to the head, and see what happens. He's trying. He's trying, but he's missing. Yeah. Actually, earlier in this round, really? Benitez connecting more than he is. We mentioned these guys are being asked to go 10 for the first time. Six rounds or more, Benitez with the edge, he's 6-0. and oh, Against the lower op quality of opposition, Sanchez also three times in six rounds or more. But again, they've both, both been eight rounds only once. Bring it up, bring it up. Right? Much more even, actually, but it's more about the fact that neither one of them is doing very much. Benitez is tricky. You know, for a guy, tall guy, he bends at the waist, slips under punches, as we see Sanchez slip Stop. under a punch there. Max. Uppercut from Sanchez, a little short. Three punch combination from Benitez, nothing serious. No, 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 no. Here we go. Box. This round so far, Sanchez allowing Benitez to sort of dictate the term. I, I yeah. think he is. You know, he's, he's letting them grow. You can't let a fighter grow like that. You know, you know what's going to happen. I mean, he's getting start getting confident again. Yeah, catch either a second that, win. No, le put la cabeza, yeah. Brandon. Exactly, either that or maybe Sanchez is, is getting tired too. Sanchez just has to keep the heat on. Right, which, is, which I don't think he is. Ten seconds. No, no, not enough anyway, and he's not leading with the jab enough to shorten the distance between them. Tempo. Hard for me to give that round to Sanchez. Hard to give it to anybody because neither guy was effective. There's that. Yeah. 
Here's a look at a guy we've seen here on this series that we really like a lot. Boy, has he gone on to do some special things. Yeah, he, Danny Roman, after a big win a couple of weeks ago against TJ Dahenny, is now a world champion with two alphabet belts yep. at 122 pounds. And we remember him back against Adam Lopez on Showbox a little Go, where Lopez was supposed to win and get a title fight. Well, Roman beat him. Turned Roman his career. got the fight, right? Yep, turned his career. Look at him now. Love Danny Roman. Great, good, good little fighter. Good man. fighter, good, good fighter. guy. Great guy, yeah. Nice combination from Benitez. Nice right hand that time from Sanchez. Yo Diaz in the corner telling Sanchez he wants to see him use a double hook to the body. That guy settled for one hook to the body. There's the body two. Work. And then he came upstairs with the right hand. That's it. How about both sides of the body? That's it. And good work by Sanchez there to step back to keep the fight on the inside. And not get tied up. Yeah, he's he's you gotta move your feet when you're on the inside if the other guy's trying to tie you up. I have this 58-56 Sanchez. So do I. That's what I have. Although we got there a little differently because I think you guys gave Benitez round two. I did. Mm -hmm. But it's not outside the po the realm of possibility that Benitez could still be in this fight and still, yeah. still win it on points. Uppercut from Sanchez, but then Benitez comes back with four punches Watch your head, zone. Watch your head. Did Benitez get a second win? I don't know. He's laying in a yeah. lot more. Another good left hand. And another combination. Two left hands. Took a left hand that time from Sanchez. Sanchez still seems the stronger of the two. It was three to the body, and then he came upstairs with a left hand. You got a cut right eye caused by a punch. Blue corner. Big rally in the stop by Sanchez. Benitez's right eye is looking nasty. Yeah, is it, it is. Closed? Yeah, just about closed. It's looking pretty bad. And if there's a cut that goes with it, Raul Caillou Jr. said it was from a punch, not a butt. Yes, he did. Stop! Control those punches, gentlemen. Here we go. Box. Yeah, that right eye of Benitez is in bad shape. Get that end swell out. Well, I think Sanchez did a really good job of working the body in this round. And should help. <laughs> but Benitez is still fighting. Yeah, he He's leaning on Sanchez a lot. And Sanchez trying to make room. And look at Benitez coming back with three or four punch combination. He's a warrior. He takes He's that tough. little step back and cranks. The he reason can't. Sanchez has pounded the body so much, he's been close enough to do it. Yes. Can't get lazy on Benitez. And Sanchez is just the stronger of the two. It's just that simple. Nice combination from Sanchez that time. Three to the back, yeah, left to the head. Well, the award-winning documentary film, Quiet Storm, the Ron Artest story, is coming to Showtime May 31st during Mental Health Awareness Month. Doctors in the corner of Benitez taking a very close look at that eye. It looks nasty. With swelling and a cut. We talked about Sanchez banging the body. That's because he's so close. Very little coming back there. He gets free shots, a little wide, but he scored with them. Hey, both these guys look at the mirror. Are they going to know they're going to fight? Show me you're okay. Show me you're okay. Let's go. This is round eight. It's been an action fight. Raul Caiz Jr. just told uh, Benitez, you got to protect yourself at the beginning of the round. Benitez is corner not doing him much favors. I did not see an end swell used. His right eye is quite swollen underneath. And a big right hand, that's it. Raul Caez steps in, ends it right there. So a stoppage victory for Sal Sanchez. And he had a run. The way that Sanchez, the way that the referee stopped that fight, I would say he was looking for a reason to yes. stop it yeah, I think after so. the eye. Well, he warned him. He, he warned him at the beginning of the round. He told him in Spanish, you got to protect yourself. So I guess he was just looking for one big shot. And he stopped it. The corner of Benitez, are, they're not happy. 
Uh, yet I can't argue with that stoppage. Well, also, we don't know exactly what the ref, what the doctor said to the referee right, between right. rounds, because the doctor was in the corner for a good 20 seconds. He may have said to the ref, any further punishment if he looks like he can't defend himself. Stop it. Right. And he's not happy, but his corner is kind of calming him down, saying, hey, listen, they did the right thing. You know, all things considered, I was impressed with Benitez. Yeah, no, we didn't know anything about the guy. You weren't here, hey, you weren't Hasn't fought anybody in the calendar. Like you Sanchez. did tonight. You showed heart and everything. Most of all, fucking balls. I like that shit. <laughs> well, he has <laughs> showed everything. And most of all, he broke his own fucking straight Okay. Well, it was really an entertaining fight, I have to say. I, I wasn't sure it was going to be it. In fact, it was. It was, and I, I, I think that while Sanchez makes his, excuse me, uh, yeah, Sanchez makes his Showbox debut, a victorious one, part of the reason the fight was action-packed is because of his faults. And I think he, he Joel, Joel Diaz can, can make him a lot better fighter. Yeah, I think so too. That clearly a work in progress. Yeah, he does too much waiting. And when he waits around, he can get hit. And he's in the pocket and very vulnerable. All right, we're going to get a couple looks at this here. We'll see it in real time, then we'll see it in slow motion and from different angles. All right, this is real time. Uh, I'd say that right hand was about as flush as any punch he landed in the fight. And did the right hand land because Benitez couldn't see it. Actually, I think it landed because Benitez was starting his own left hand. That's what I think, too. And left himself open. Even at that, I can't argue with that stoppage. And I yeah. guess you got to look at, you know, it was the eighth round, and there was a lot of damage done to Benitez during the fight. And look at it, look at his face, so. Well, and you pointed it out, too, yeah. Raul. He, he looked into the corner and said he's got to defend himself. Right. Right at the start of that round. All right, let's go to Thomas Triber. We will make it all efficient, Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. 18 seconds of round number eight. Our referee in charge, Raul Taiz Jr., steps in and stops the contest. Therefore, here in the state of California, this bout declared a knockout victory. Therefore, now the WBO Latino Bantamweight champion, Saul the Beast Sanchez.